All right, everybody, I want to show you how to reorder your page numbers and let your document uh, start numbering the pages on whatever page you select. So right now we have a document. It's got our half title, our full title, and then it goes into the text block. The problem with that is, is InDesign uh, thinks that the page starts on number one, which technically it does, but for our purposes, uh, to follow traditional conventions of book design, uh, this would be the first page, right? So we need to fix that. And the first thing we need to do in order to fix that is to make sure that these two options are off. By default, they will typically have a check mark near them. We need to shut those off so that it's no longer allowing document pages to shuffle and selected spreads to shuffle. So that's the first step. I will say that this needs to be one of the very last things you do uh, so that you don't uh, inadvertently start adding pages to what is now, uh, thanks to these being turned off, a very static document. So with those off, you have a couple of options. You can come up here to the same drop down and go to numbering and section options, or you can highlight the page that you would like uh, your number one page to start on and control click. Either way, you want to select numbering and section options. And instead of automatic page numbering, you want to set start page numbering at one. And what that will do is apply that to this particular page that you have selected. Um, we also want to come in here and um, type in an A or a B or an X, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, you can also set it up so that they're uh, Roman numerals, much like you would see in a preface. Um, however you want to do it is fine, um, but if you leave it off, and I will for the purposes of this demo, I'll show you the um, dialog box that pops up. So what it's going to say basically is that uh, for printing purposes uh, or exporting purposes, you, know, you now have two number one pages, and I'll show you right there. It goes one, two, three, four, one. So now InDesign and the printer is going to be confused when you say print page ranges 1 through 3. It doesn't know which ones you're talking about, which is why you want to include a prefix for the section. If we just put A there, click OK. Sorry, if we've already done it, we need to come up here and select that first page. Now. We'll go back to numbering section options, press A, click OK. Now the first four are A1, A2, A3, and A4, and should you want to print those as a range, you have to specify that. But now, you can see the document has been reordered so that this is page one, two, three, and so on. That should take care of the page numbering. You should do this right before you export to print, uh, or right before you actually print but either way, it should be one of the last things you do.